Welcome to Bauna's Kitchen. In this episode, I'm making cereal chewda. This cereal chewda helps me to replace um, those oily uh, fried chewda snacks. And these days, this cereal chewda is my boy's favorite as well. I mean, a lot of kids grow up uh, eating cereal with milk, but my boys like, you know, eat spicy cereals. So let's get started. To prepare cereal chewda, I usually take Rice crispy, Cheerios, Corn Flakes, Kicks and I also love to add potato sticks like a fried potato sticks. Here I have the curry leaves fresh from my garden and here I have my helper tearing apart the leaves from the stems. Wash them really well and chop. I then chop the curry patta very fine into my mini chopper. Like so. Here I have gathered a few more ingredients to add into cereal chevra. Badam, cut, roughly almonds, Peanuts, Moomfali, Dana, and these are already roasted. I got them on sale from Aldi, so I thought of using the roasted instead of frying uh, peanuts. And these are roasted chana dal, daria known as. And these are also already roasted. Um, if desired, you can just throw them in the oil when making um, tempering or you can just add them as it is. They taste amazing in the chivra. So as you can see, a lot of protein, high protein ingredients going into this uh, cereal chevra. Here I have variali, soft, known as fennel seeds basically. The curry leaves I just ground, like chopped roughly. And out of the spice box, I will be adding uh, turmeric, red chili powder, Mustard seeds and carom seeds, a joyan, rye, haldi, lal mirch. Into this giant mixing bowl, I'm going to throw all the cereals. This is rice crispy, Cheerios. Made out of oat. Corn flakes. Kicks, corn flakes and kicks from uh, corn. Basically, I try to avoid um, sugary um, cereals like uh, Fruit Loops, uh, uh, Frosted Flakes. You know, those cereals don't make good chewro. So be sure to use the ones um, that, I mean, the cereals that I'm using, you know, they have also a little bit of sugar, but not a whole lot like the, you know, other cereals. Um, so that's the reason I prefer to use uh, Rice crispy, Corn Flakes, Cheerios, um, Cakes. Um, there are some other wheat uh, cereals available as well with a very uh, little amount of uh, sugar or no sugar even uh, if you buy the uh, diabetic friendly cereals. It doesn't have to be the cereals I'm using. You can come up with your own um, cereals. When I migrated to Canada, uh, initially, I just saw people using, uh, you know, the corn flakes to prepare the corn chiura because corn chiura is very popular where I grew up. Um, then I went to some other uh, houses, you know, and I saw that some people using even uh, uh, rice crispy with uh, uh, corn flakes. And when I came to the U.S., it was like whole different story. Like here, you know, I saw people using like many kind of um, cereals. So. You can just go ahead and use your favorite cereals to prepare this chiura. Uh, it could be even a little sweeter as well, but not too sweet. Potato sticks. If you desired some wheat, cereal can be added as well. Since peanuts are already roasted, I'm just going to go ahead and add in. Roasted chana dal, dahlia. Mix it all really well. Heat up the pot on a high 
add oil now you may think this is a lot of oil but I'm making in a bulk be sure to keep the lid handy when the oil is hot add mustard seeds right and let them crack add a giant carom seeds fennel seeds royally reduce the heat on a low now add curry leaves and be very careful when adding curry leaves mitolimro Give it a quick stir. Be sure to fry curry patta really well. Ready to add almonds, badam, salt to taste. Remember that cereals have salt in them too, so add salt carefully. Red chili powder, and this is mild variety. So I'm adding a little bit more here. Turmeric powder, haldi. Now stir everything really well. So as you can see, all the oil is used up. And in order to mix all the cereals really well with the masala, oil is needed. Now if you are making in a small quantity, you may not need all these ingredients uh, in a very big quantity. So if you are a first timer, just give it a try in a small quantity. But I have been preparing this chiura for years now. So let everything cook on a low heat. Keep stirring occasionally and uh, I can see that the curry leaves have become crispy now. So I'm going to turn off the stove and ready to add this into cereals or the tempering onto the cereals and now it's a big job to mix everything really well once mixed really well it's time to roast now now I do not roast all the chivras at once. I only roast one foil tray which gives me about two jars of uh, chivro and the remaining I just store as it is without roasting and roast when I run out of the um, two jars of uh, chivra so that um, it brings a little freshness again when the chivra is roasted as needed. So the key is not to roast all the chivras but roast only the amount that you can use within uh, maybe two weeks. Roast the chivra in the preheated oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for about half an hour. Stir about after 15 minutes and finish roasting. Let me show you how roasted chivra looks like now. It gets darker in color. Now let it cool before storing into the airtight container. In meanwhile, for unroasted chivra, here I have this uh, container, airtight container. I'm going to store the chivra in, and uh, be sure to use a, a, a proper plastic bag if you have like a good new plastic bag. I prefer to store the chivra uh, in a plastic bag into the airtight container. You can use Ziplocs. I'm using the trash liner bag. Here I have another container of two bags. Each bag is about one foil. So every time all I have to do is just grab one bag and then roast and store again in the um, serving jars. For everyday serving, store the chivra in an airtight container. Glass jars or something like that. For everyday serving um, cereal chivra, I prefer to store um, chivra in an airtight uh, you know, glass jar containers like this. Um, and here I have the chivra ready. Let me make you hear the crunch. 
The peanut. Almond. Roasted chana dal. And the crunch of all those studios. Trust me, this is the recipe I could eat almost every day. I mean, and I am eating every day actually. To wash giant mixing bowl, I use water hose in my front yard. I grew up in Gujarati family and chevro is kind of a must for uh, breakfast no matter what you prepare whether it's a flatbread or uh, something that uh, with a you know masala chai uh, we have to have some sort of crunch this recipe is not for everybody because obviously it is not super healthy um, so if it is not your kind of recipe just you know please be kind when you comment because I totally understand that this is not just for you know good for your health and uh, I'm not trying to promote anything but uh, um, instead of uh, eating all those oily fried um, chivras that I used to eat this cereal chivra helps me to replace um, those oily uh, fried chivra snacks I hope you enjoyed watching this video please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Bonus Kitchen is everywhere. You can also download Bonus Kitchen apps totally free on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. You can watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire. Uh, if you have a smart TV, just the YouTube app itself. Just enjoy Bonus Kitchen and living however you like. Thanks for watching and see you soon.